United Nations Development Programme Namibia, in collaboration with the National Planning Commission, will formally launch the 2020 Global Human Development Report, along with the 2019 Namibia National Human Development Report at UN House Klein Vintuk today. The Human Development Report is the UNDP's annual flagship publication, which features the status of people-centered development across the globe. The Namibia National Human Development Report, on the other hand, unpacks the four varying dimensions of inequality across Namibia. Now, joining me this morning with more details on these two reports are Her Excellency Alka Patia, the UNDP resident representative in Namibia, as well as Sylvester Bangu, who's the National Planning Commission Chief of National Development Advice. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. <laughs> Uh, let's just start with uh, you, Mr. Bangu. Can you just explain to us what human development is firstly and how does it speak to the mandate of the National Planning Commission? Thank you very much. Um, in the simplest uh, terms, human uh, development refers to the process of expanding mm -hmm. the freedoms mm -hmm. of people, the capabilities of people and the opportunities of those individuals mm -hmm. and how they should uplift their standard of, of living. Mm. Therefore, uh, this is the core or mandate of uh, National Planning Commission yes. in order to uplift the standard of living of our people through our national development planning. Oh, I see. Yes. Mm. Yes. And um, what are some of the human development challenges that you've experienced and how, how are we addressing these or how can these be addressed? Yes, thank you very much. Um, there are many, but maybe let me just mention very important ones. Okay. Uh, these include unemployment. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a <clears throat> it's a big issue uh, and affects uh, human development. Mm -hmm. um, there is no single solution, but a mix of policies and, and the efforts really will help to to, to alleviate that, that uh, problem. Yes. And one of those could be uh, um, economic structural transformation. And also uh, by able, if Namibia will be able to attract uh, more investment in order that uh, we could create that needed employment. Another problem really is inequality and the uh, mm -hmm. disparities, which uh, is the subject of today. Uh, as I said, also a combination of uh, uh, policies really will help to to address those those questions. You can think of the <coughs> uh, pre-market interventions, uh, market interventions, and even post-market inter interventions. What does this uh, this mean? Um, people really need to have some some basic uh, necessities or capabilities mm. in terms of education, in terms of health, uh, so that they will be able to realize their, po their potential. And when they enter the market, then they can be marketable, therefore they can be employed in the employment of their own choice. Yes. And uh, then uh, 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 post the market uh, capabilities to include uh, or interventions will include issues such as social grants and um, if, like in Namibia where we have food bank and so on and, and old age uh, pension and so on. So those are the issues which you can do to, uh, to minimize inequalities in the, in the country. Uh, the other one is poverty, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. What I've uh, mentioned also uh, pertains to that, but also the intervention will, will include economic, social, and uh, environmental uh, interventions and even go uh, good governance or governance for that matter. All right, yes. no, thank, you. thank you very much for that. Uh, this next question, maybe we can start with you first, uh, Ms. Uh, Patia. Let's look at the, the reports that are being launched today. Um, there are two reports being launched. That's the 2020 Global Human Development Report and the 2019 Namibia National Human Development Report. Um, could you speak to us about these two reports and the correlation between the two? Can we first start yeah, with you, Yeah, definitely. And thank you very much uh, for inviting us here because I think this is a very important uh, issue as it affects people. Yes. It's about human development. Mm. And human development reports um, are a flagship publication of the United Nations Development Programme. Each year, the UNDP comes out with a global human development report. Mm. 
and uh, 2020 marked the 30th anniversary of the Human Development Report. Mm. So in that sense, uh, this is a very special edition, uh, the 2020 Global Human Development Report. Alongside of the Global Human Development Reports, um, we also support uh, the uh, start, uh, drafting and development of these national human development reports. Yes on topical issues like what we've done uh, with uh, the 2019 Namibia National Human Development Report, which was centered on the topic of inequalities. Yes. So the Global Human Development Report, uh, that comes out every year. Mm. The mm. ones at the national level, that can vary anything between three to five years because it takes a little bit longer uh, because we need a very... Um, broad-based consultative process and national ownership for the uh, National Human Development Report. The 2020 Global Human Development Report uh, centers on human development and the Anthropocene, mm. uh, which is the which we are saying is the next frontier. And Anthropocene is basically uh, this is the age of humans. Mm. How the um, human beings are basically on a collision course with the planet yes. so to speak you know so and uh, this is we are at that point in time uh, where human beings are the ones with the choices they mm -hmm. are the ones shaping the planet yes. rather than the other way around absolutely so therefore it's it becomes very critical in terms of the actions that we take as humans mm -hmm. um, and to what extent can we push the boundaries mm -hmm. and we are seeing this uh, where the conflict is happening in a multiplicity of crises you know you've been seeing over the years we are uh, living through climate change crisis we are living through a biodiversity crisis we've gone through um, a financial crisis yes, yes. we are presently undergoing one of the worst pandemics mm. Uh, in uh, recent uh, history, which is the COVID-19. Mm. And uh, they just don't fall out of the sky. Eh? There's, there's uh, yes. something which we created. And this is exactly uh, what uh, the 2020 Global Human Development Report has uh, explored. And um, it's, it's about focusing that attention in terms of the choices mm. and actions mm. and the values that human beings are ascribing to their development. Mm. So to, it's in that sense. And the human development reports typically come up with metrics, you know, metrics yes. of measuring the yes, extent yes. of progress of human development. Yes. And uh, that's the human development index, which is a very well-known construct um, in that. And uh, speaking about the, 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 the measures that you've, that you've mentioned, I want to look at the, the five pillars that the National Human Development Report looks at, which are education, health, land, finance, and gender. How does this report address these dimensions with, relation, uh, with regards to inequalities and the, the uh, income disparities that we spoke about earlier? Um, as you know, Namibia is... Um one of those countries with uh, very high amounts of inequality. Mm -hmm. And uh, this has been persistent. This is actually, it has historical dimensions. And uh, the government uh, has actually been uh, really focusing on how to reduce these inequalities. I yes. think at the time of independence or just before that, it was very high at about... 70% or something. Mm. So over the years and in that 30 years that the government, uh, the independent Namibia is in, it has come down. It's not that it hasn't come down, but it is still very high. Yes. So it's about 56% uh, as we speak, which is the Gini coefficient, which is the measure of inequality. So we, in consultation with the National Planning Commission, we thought let's, let's take a deeper dive mm. into what all this inequality is about yes right normally when people used to talk about inequality it's about income inequality yes but inequality like poverty is very multi-dimensional so it's not just one issue it's not only about incomes you know that the inequality seeps in there are inequalities in the access to 
uh, education, mm. in the access to health facilities, there are gender inequalities, right? Yes. Like Mr. Bangu mentioned right at the beginning, human development is about people-centric yes, development. Yes. It's about their capabilities, enhancing their capabilities, mm. enhancing their choices. Yes. Do they have the freedom to exercise those choices? And how do they do that? And how do we enhance capabilities through access to education, to access to health, to access to employment, through having a very equitable sort of a um, uh, support yes. system, yes. you know, where gender equ there is gender equality, there right. is no gender pay gap. So okay. that was the idea behind this, the National Human Development Report, right. in examining all these facets. Land, land is a huge issue, huh? the disparity in land yes. ownership, asset ownership. So these are all the drivers, if I may say so, of inequality. Okay, now, so. all right, no, thank you, thank you very, very much uh, for that, uh, Ms. Bhatia. I think for this, I think we can uh, discuss this, uh, come back later on to the show and discuss this in depth because it's a very, very interesting topic and obviously one that requires a, a lot of time for us to get into this. Just quickly, uh, before we close, Mr. Mabu, can you just tell us where the launch will be taking place and what time? Thank you very much. Um, uh, the launch will take place at the UN house, yes. uh, at the Clan Windhoek. It will take place at 9 o'clock. All right, thank but you very that's much. that's tomorrow. Tomorrow. That is tomorrow. No, tomorrow. No. Okay, yes. thank, you. thank you very much for that tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you yes. for that clarity. Mm. Uh, thank you very much for joining us this morning and giving us insight and information on such an important topic, human development. Thank, thank you. you very much. Mm. Well, there you have it. That was uh, Her Excellency Alka Bhatia, the UNDP re resident representative in Namibia, as well as Mr. Salvestan Bango, who's the National Planning Commission Chief of National Development Advice speaking about the two reports that will be launched tomorrow uh, at the UN House in Klein Vintuk. Uh, but please don't go away 